No word on your end either? No, I'm, I'm, I'm betting we're going to hear something soon. Right. Let me know you find the Carly's place. Thanks. Margo hasn't heard anything either. Why haven't they contacted us, Jack? They've had JJ all night. Maybe they're giving us more time to find this key. There is no key. They don't know that. What if they've got somebody watching us? What if they get angry and they take it out on him? It's not going to come to that. We are going to find JJ, Carly. When? We don't even know who these people are. Easy. Easy. Take it one step at a time. Coffee's on the table. Uh, pancakes are ready. Anyone hungry? How could anybody even think about food? Katie should just try to help Carly. Right. I'm sure she doesn't take it personally. Now, of course not. I understand. How could you? You're not a mother. I know how much you love. I don't think anybody knows that. My whole world has just stopped. Oh, what's going on here? It sounds like someone's upset by you two getting engaged. Not now, Brad. Please. Hey, Carly. Look, I know it blows, but you got to look at it this way. Okay, if you can't have Jack, at least you got the best part of him, his kids. Dad. Okay, hey, man, I'm just trying to lighten things up, man. You know what, you two, the, the happy couple, I mean, shouldn't you be celebrating? You were wearing those clothes yesterday. So what? Did you just get home? Yeah, it happens. I mean, you know how it is. So, what, suppose you tell me oh, why the bride to be would care. Wait a second. Oh, oh perfect time. Are these so hot? Mm. It's really good, by the way. What, what is going on with you? Why is the guy so down? Some help with the proposal or what? It was cut short because JJ was kidnapped. What the hell? Wait, you're not kidding? He was taken last night. Okay, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what to say. Was this some, some revenge thing? Some perp that you arrested that, that wants to get back? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is. What do you need me to do? Nothing. No, we're just we're just waiting to be contacted. Okay, I'm just gonna go upstairs and change, and then you know. All right, hey bud. It's gonna be all right now. It's gonna be all right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, I got a lead. I'm with a man who saw JJ in Old Town yesterday. He recognized him from the flyer. Tell me. He's the guy who owns the antique store. He said JJ was on a bench talking to some woman. When? Late yesterday afternoon. He was with her for a while. We're going to head downtown and we're going to file a report. I'll meet you there. So then? No, it was, it was he, he found somebody who might be able to help us. I got to meet him over at the station. Well, I'm going to go with you. No, no, Carly, I want you to stay here in case JJ manages to get away and comes home. Please? I'll be in touch. Holden has a real lead. That's great news. I'll do better. No, it's okay. I'll mind. You know, I, I really need something to do right now. Okay. Well, in that case, I think I'm going to head over to your house and see if Margot could use any help. Oh, she's got a whole police force behind her, Katie. Sometimes you got to sit back and let people do their job. I'm just going to check anyway, make sure there's not something I can do. I think you've done enough. Because, you know, I can't help thinking... But if it weren't for you, none of this would have happened. Not knowing where JJ is, there's nothing more stressful. You haven't slept since you got the news. I don't blame you for being upset, but to suggest that I set this in motion... I think you did. I think you did set it in motion. How? You were so upset when Jack didn't propose. And you made him feel guilty and embarrassed. And he was pushed into doing something he wasn't ready for. And the children certainly weren't ready for. I don't think Jack felt pushed into anything, Carly. Well, he wouldn't admit it. But I know Jack. And I know my kids. And I know that J.J. agonized over this. His family falling apart. His life changing. And not for the better. Of course it's a big adjustment. Not only for J.J., but for Sage and Parker, too. That's why Jack and I were going to talk to the kids together. When? After the fact, after he'd already proposed, J.J. felt helpless. It was like 
His life was changing at warp speed, and there was nothing he could do about it. He was vulnerable, and he was easy prey for whoever snatched him. Stop, please, okay? I am so sick about what's happened to JJ, but it's not because of me. Think what you want. I call it like I see it. I would never do anything to hurt him. I love him, Carly. I do. He's going to be part of my family. No. You may be planning on being Jack's wife, but you will never be a part of JJ's family, Katie, so you may as well start facing it. I need you to come down to the station right away. What is it? I'll explain everything when you get here. I'll be right there. What happened? I have to meet Jack. Maybe a cold beer. Yeah, not even lunch yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, you well, you know, I haven't, I haven't slept yet, so I've lost track. You can say it. You just witnessed proof that I'm always going to be an outsider when it comes to Jack and his kids. Maybe for now, but not forever. I can't even let myself think past tomorrow. Jack's face when he left. He's thinking the worst. I'm so worried about him. He keeps everything inside. I know how my brother thinks. You know, right now he's doing a number on himself because he didn't prevent this. How could he? Look, I, didn't, like, I didn't say it makes sense. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, he takes responsibility for everything. You know, and, and he thinks he can keep his kids safe no matter what. Yeah, luckily Carly doesn't have that problem. She knows it's all my fault. Forget, forget about her. Forget about that. Forget about her. She went after you because she's mad at herself. I know. She's so upset, so I tried to keep my mouth shut. Smart move. Smart move. Like, look, you, you can't argue with Carly. No one wins. Believe me, I, I speak from experience. I know she resents me. I understand that. But this was just so much worse. You're the enemy. Yeah, thanks. I knew that. Well, you know, in Carly's mind, Jack's hers. Always will be. I know. Hey, 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 you know what, just, look, don't try to change Carly, you can't, hey, the only thing you need to know is that Jack trusts you and he needs you and that's exactly what you're gonna do, you're gonna be there for him. I know, I don't know how that's gonna happen, we barely said two words to each other. Well, you guys, you guys need words? No, but I, he just, look at, look at it, I you know, need... the only, look at, like, somebody needs to be behind Jack for, in order for him to get through this, right, someone is strong enough to speak up when they have to and to stay out of the way when... She needs to stay out of the way. Okay, so what you're gonna do? Okay, you're gonna you're just gonna take a deep breath with me. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, you stay calm. You reserve your energy. Because the longer this thing goes on, the more he's gonna need you. Anything good for Jack? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's been, you know, he's practically human since you two found each other or whatever. I don't know. I think you should keep going. You're not just saying that. I could be a jerk about a lot of things, but I'm not going to mess around about something this serious. I just wish you would hear something about JJ, just something. Maybe no good news is good good news. I just feel helpless, you know? I want to do something. You want to help? Yeah, of course I do. So do I. I think I know how we can. How? Come on, I'll show you. Come on. Come on. 